the Dragon Fighter 2 here, the power of Galaxstar. Today I bring you some rush on Shark Canals. And today I'm gonna kinda talk about uh, game modes and uh, suggest some game modes that I, that I should add, like some ideas. And as you know, close quarters coming out. Oh yeah, watch this shit. Watch how I will PTFO like a boss. Uh, so you see me riding this helicopter, right? And whenever I'm in a scout helicopter, not scout helicopter, transport helicopter, I usually land it like this, and just go on B and A and plan it right away. The other team doesn't even stand a chance if they're slow. As you can see, they were slow to get here, and I already planted two bombs. This is how you can PTFO on this map really easily. Especially, I don't know how that guy got in here, corner camper, you Call of Duty player. But PTFOing is actually more fun than just camping in a corner, by the way. But I guess he was PTFOing also, defending. But whatever. Uh, I'm gonna talk about game modes that are gonna be added in close quarters. And also, excuse my running nose, I'm a bit sick. I know it's the summer, it's freaking hot. And I'm also annoyed that I got sick. I don't know what the fuck happened, and I don't care. But whatever. So, close quarters. Uh, the new two game modes actually gonna be added are uh, Conquest Domination, which basically uh, Domination, three flags, and I think I think it might be spawn trap. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too excited about close quarters. As I remember Team Deathmatch in Battlefield 3, any any time I played, I get spawn trapped. Uh, well, I, I get shitty spawns, not spawn trap, but you know you know what I mean, shitty spawns. And uh, I think it might feel like Medal of Honor 2010, and uh, that's one thing I don't like, Medal of Honor 2010, except uh, the Rush game mode, I think it was called Combat Mission or something like that back in the day, it was Spawn Trap ESL, or unless you play Team that much, that's another thing, but I, about Domination and uh, all other game modes, they were Spawn Trappy, and 24 people on Call of Duty maps, Pff, it's ridiculous. Now, the next... Game type has actually been hinted in the achievements of uh, Battlefield 3 under the Xbox. It's called uh, Gun Master. It says complete a round of Gun Master and you get 20 game points, of course, or achievement points, whatever the hell you want to call it. And my speculation that Gun Master is, uh, is a gun game. Because, like, the name says it all. You gotta be really good with, with any guns that, you, that can be thrown to you, like... Uh, you get G3H, you gotta be good. You get a, you get a smile, you gotta be good to kill, to get a kill with that. You, you get a M16, you gotta be cool to get the kill with that. And uh, I bet uh, it's gonna once you kill a guy, you gotta get another weapon and then so on so on until uh, you reach the last and the hardest weapon, which is the knife. You gotta get a knife kill. And uh, I think that's kind of cool. But I think achievement should have been win a round of. Uh, gun master that would have been in my opinion much more fun to play but anyways and also another thing I hope I'll check this out repair tool kill pose but another thing uh, I think they should have changed is uh, or no they should allow is for like you know private servers allow you to pick guns which are appeared in gun, gun master if it is if I buy a server then I'll put the hardest guns ever. I'll put the I'll put like what's the worst gun? Like like SG553, like a small, get a kill with small, get a kill with a knife, get get a kill with like RPG, get a kill with a noob tube smoke, <laughs> get a kill with buckshot. So something ridiculous like that. Like so something that is really bad. And I think if the guns are bad and you win, that pretty much shows that you have skill with any gun. But now, it's pretty much all the facts that I have for the game modes, and right now I'm gonna tell my suggestions for game modes that sh they should add. I think they should add Capture the Flag. I'm kinda missing Capture the Flag. Uh, like, like every every multiplayer game has Capture the Flag, and imagine Capture the Flag in uh, Battlefield, like, like, with vehicles and shit, like, uh, to, and you put, you put a flag in your vehicle and, uh, like, rants. Oh no! You you gotta you gotta use vehicle to get the flag, and then you gotta you gotta use that vehicle to get the flag out. If the team destroys the vehicle, uh, you pretty much lose the flag. Some, something like an Amtrak. Amtrak would be cool, and uh, I think that would be cool. Like vehicle capture the flag, and the normal capture the flag. But uh, of course, capture the flag is gonna use a bit smaller maps, uh, preferably not team that much maps, a bit bigger. 
and uh, of course it's going to be infantry only and uh, the vehicle capture the flag you use Amtrak's to capture the enemy's flag you just have to like run over it or whatever and uh, bring it back to base and that thing that I think would be cool in my opinion I don't know how I didn't notice that guy but I think that would be cool and fun to play in my opinion it's very it's gonna be very competitive now another game tab I would add is somewhat headquarters type like you put a you put a what is it MCOM like inside a big building like I'm, I'm in right now and you allow the enemy team to spawn there and the the team that is attacking the headquarters can spawn about a little bit back and they have vehicles such as tanks, LAVs, Tunguskas uh, well not, not, not too many vehicles and defenders have non vehicles and they and the uh, uh, attackers attack with vehicles such as tanks and stuff and try to get that MCOM once they destroy an MCOM it goes into the next headquarter base and uh, it goes until like you know three times attackers destroy it it's pretty much kinda like rush except except it's more defense heavy and the enemy team cannot leave the the headquarter area uh, that's what I'm ta talking to attack the enemy area like you know on rush you can you can be an enemy uh, like spawn as much as you want once they destroy your MCOM station and that, that I think kinda ruins and it, it kind I, I can say it also resembles rush or maybe you could switch MCOMs to flags but I think that would have been that would be a bit less or that would be more how can I say powerful or like too unbalanced for the defender if they lose too many people and like whole team pushes into the headquarters they'll instantly lose it so I, I think MCOM would be better to destroy and the time takes to arm and destroy it's pretty much a bit longer than in squad rush in my opinion that would have been that would be much better in my opinion and uh, one thing I, I why why would this be different than rush is because the the defense cannot leave the area where they can be like the whole headquarter area and they don't have vehicles which is another thing and the attackers have tanks and IFVs and that's it now the third game tab that I would like to add is called I think I'll call it front the only reason why I call it front it will simulate the real front line you cannot go past uh, too much uh, front line into enemy base you can go too much behind your front line otherwise you'll get the message 10 seconds you know the 10 seconds and the enemy team gotta engage each other in the front line and I think that'll be kinda cool the only reason is it's kinda cool is that they will fight head to head and they uh, will show who has better which team has better gun skill and they fight until they lose uh, their tickets or maybe uh, a different variation of that you can push until you push it, uh, the enemy team all the way to the back and capture their flag or destroy their MCOM station I think I think with tickets it's more fun in my opinion they hold each other's phone and they push up a bit like back and forth back and forth and uh, uh, the way the way the front line will be pushed up if uh, if uh, like the your teammates are getting closer and closer to the enemy's front line it's gonna shift 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 and if your enemy comes closer to you like a lot more closer it's gonna shift again also and you like and you retreat a, a bit back it's gonna shift and I know it's a bit complex to code but I think that game tab would be cool to add and uh, I think uh, if any game would simulate that that would be kinda cool uh, ima imagine playing armor like that that would be, that'd be kinda cool in my opinion and uh, the final game mode I would like to add is and the last game mode I would like to add is dogfighting if any of you played Battlefield 1943 I know what I'm talking about the air superiority yeah add that to the game that'd be really cool it's like it's basically the game tab where you fly in jets you try to control the area kinda like conquest there's only one flag you control the area and you wait for the enemy's tickets to deplete and at the same time you fight jets I think that'd be kind of cool because, like, I want I want to train my dogfighting skills, and the mo most of the time I get killed by like helicopters and like uh, uh, land to air missiles and all that stuff. And I think dogfighting game mode would be kind of cool to add to Battlefield, considering that they had it in 1943. They they just can add it at least one map in Armored Kill or the final game or whatever the hell the last uh, DLC is gonna be called but anyways 
thanks for watching the drive to turn off and please tell me what game mode would you add uh, to the battlefield 3 if you had a chance to add it and uh, yeah thanks for watching follow me on twitter twitch and subscribe to youtube and uh, yeah we won it pretty quick 10 objectives destroyed it pretty quick thanks for watching the rough two starting off final score was 23 and 3